Welcome to The Boat Show. I'm Bill Hackett. We're coming to you from Biscayne Bay and we are checking out Panga today. This is a USA boat. I'm here with Giovanni Cocho. How are you doing, Giovanni? How are you doing? Good, good, good. Nice to see you guys. Yeah, so when we talk about Panga, USA made. Built here in the United States. That's it. So the, the, the Panga is known for its versatility. The fuel economy, it's made to get great fuel, fuel efficiency out of the boat. Um, the versatility of the boat, you can take it offshore, you can go within a foot of water with the boat. It's a 26 foot boat. Take it in, like I said, uh, within 12 inches of water. Because um, in South Florida, it's all skinny down here, people. You know what yeah. I mean? So if it's a Florida boat like this is, yeah. it's super skinny, 12 inches, right? Correct, correct. What's the length overall? It's 26 foot overall. And how much beam we got? Um, we got a seven foot beam on this boat. We got an 80, 80 gallon fuel tank on the boat. So you get about a 300 mile range. Boom. Um, you get uh, four miles to the gallon on the boat. So very fuel efficient, very, very versatile. So. so let's talk about the Suzuki we got hanging on the back. What do we got on this yeah, one? Yeah, on this one we have a 150. These boats are not made to be overpowered. They're made to be ran with uh, low, powered bo low powered motors. Um, and you get that great uh, fuel economy out of the boat. So super efficient, right? Super shallow. So it's made to fish. So we got the power pole on the back because we like that skinny water. Push a button. Correct, correct. You got, we got a jack plate on there, so if you want to raise the motor and push yourself around the sandbars, skinny water, the, it, the boat is capable for that. Let's face it, you know we want to fish, but uh, at the end of the day, every weekend, we're going to be at the sandbar. We're going to be at the sandbar, <laughs> correct, correct, correct. That's it, tossing it up. Yeah. So uh, what do we have uh, electronics-wise on this boat? Uh, electronics-wise, we have a 12-inch Garmin here. We have a uh, through haul air mark transducer, which if you like to deep drop and do that type of stuff, you're capable of doing that. We're uh, outfitted with a JL Audio uh, stereo system, a Garmin VHF, tackle stations. Uh, so we're pretty much, uh, it's pretty much outfitted and we kind of customize the boat to, to your needs. You know, the nice thing about uh, this boat, first of all, it's an iconic Florida boat. If you're not from Florida, uh, you may not always see it, but down here, this is, uh, the boat to have, especially Absolutely. for skinny water. And for a, a low bay boat, it's got a little bit of freeboard up front, Absolutely. right? Absolutely. So we can take it out, can't I we? Take it off. This boat actually has the rolled gunnel, so it, 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 it sprays off. It's a dry boat. Um, it has the 12-inch gunnels here, which you can walk all the way around. And uh, yeah, it's a, it's a great all-around boat. You can see, you can cast anywhere from this boat. You got a lot of room up front, easy access in the back and coffin box coffin box where it we're a semi uh, semi custom boat builder so you can have forward seating you can have rear seating you can have fish boxes we kind of leave it up to you to outfit the boat how you'd like it hey so if you're down on shem creek in south carolina you up in maryland get like that skinny water wherever you're at this is a multi-purpose boat very efficient you need to check it out for yourself Correct, correct, correct. Thanks, Giovanni. Thank you, thank you. Very nice to meet you, and uh, I appreciate you guys being here. Go see it for yourself and take it for a sea trial.